What's going on guys? Core Previant here with another how-to video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to hack Civilization 6. Obviously just came out today, um, so hope this guys will help you along. I want you guys to know that some of the features aren't in yet that you guys are probably used to, like infinite movement, um, god mode, those things have not been implemented yet. Give the creator uh, of the trainer some more time to get that out and it'll obviously be coming in the near future. The one thing I want you to keep in mind is for this to, to work, you have to be the host of a game. So I'm in a multiplayer game right now with uh, Roadmaster, and uh, we're gonna demonstrate how the hack actually works. Um, if you follow my description below, it'll tell you everything you need to do, where to download it. It is 100% free, so there's no charge. Um, it is a trainer. So obviously most people think that trainers should only have to work in this, or only work in a single player game. That is not true. This one will work in multiplayer as I'm about to show you. As again, you can see on your right hand side here that the bot's features are very limited as far as what you can do. But you do get the good things as far as infinite cash and fast research and fast production. So I'm going to go ahead and ready up and show you guys exactly how it works. Again, follow my links in my description below and it'll tell you everything you need to do. I'll also give you some step-by-steps on how to program it and how to run it safely without, without the risk of a ban. And just so you know, it is very hard to get banned on a game like this. They don't really actively monitor it for hacks because it is not a very, it's not what they consider a competitive game as in like a first-person shooter um, or World of Warcraft where there's a lot of in-depth PvP. <clears throat> Again, you just remember to be the host. This will not work if you are not the host of a game. If you just join a public game, it will not work. Alright. So I have my settlers here. I'm going to go ahead and plop them down. And I'm just going to do my move. Oh, I forgot to mention, you really want to let your first move go without doing anything. You don't want to turn the hack on in any way, you just want to do your first move. So I'm just going to go ahead and research what I want. I'm going to choose stuff that has the biggest research time, because I'm going to hack it anyway, so I might as well get the, the uh, strongest ability first. Alright, so we're going to go into my next turn, and I'm waiting on Roadmaster. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and, the turn is ended, I'm going to go ahead and turn the hack on to show you. Cheat activated. There we go. Alright, it just glitched out on me, so I had to restart it. Um, actually, one thing I forgot was to run it as administrator. Always run it as administrator. So, I just turned on the uh, the infinite cache, as you can see. Um, it highlights in red when you turn the heat when you turn the cheat on. Uh, right now, you do not. You see, I have no gold. So, I'm going to go ahead and give my units an order real quick. And go into my next turn. Now, if you notice at the top left, my gold has gone to 100,000. So, and that was just the infinite gold. Now, let's play around a little bit more. Let me go ahead and turn on, um, let's turn them all on. Why not? Cheat activated. Uh, what do we got on right now? Let's turn this one on. Cheat activated. Let's turn this one on. Cheat activated. And let's turn this one on. Cheat activated. And again, this is a multiplayer game. So let's go ahead and go into my next turn now. Now you see I had seven turns left on Astrology, six on uh, Code of Laws. And Astrology is completed. Code of Laws is completed. And I can go into my next research and the game continues to run smoothly. So not only do you get to hack for, you know, free but you also will never get caught by anybody because it does no glitches to the game uh, so I'm just gonna fill these random policy spots as you can see I just got 10 turns worth of stuff in one turn and then we'll go ahead and end the turn and just go into the next one and immediately obviously everything is tech my gold <coughs> is staying at infinite now I do want to show you this if I turn off infinite gold deactivated and we close this out. It'll bring up some windows when you turn stuff on. We're going to go ahead and close that, that, move you, and, and turn. Now this is what I was going to show you. Okay. And we got mining complete, early empire, blah blah blah. 
if I click on my city state and I spend gold, my gold will start to lower because infinite cash is off. So as long as you keep it off, you're going to be good to go. Alright, well I hope you guys like this video. If there's anything else, anything I can help you with, just leave a comment below and I'll be glad to help you out. Thank you guys.